Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at Digital Molecular Matter, DMM, which is a plug-in for Maya 2012. It's actually been around for several years, I think since Maya 2010, but in 2012, it's included by default. You do want to make sure that you've installed it. It's possible not to install the plugin when you install Maya. You also want to make sure that it's loaded. To do that, go to Window, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. Make sure that dmmplugin.py, this is the Python plugin, is loaded. I'll also auto load it. And dmmcinematic.mll. I'll load that and auto load that as well. And close. So now I'm going to go to the DMM mode here and the DMM item on the shelf here. Here we have a number of DMM items and you can see what each one does just by mousing over it. You'll get a tooltip description and also down in the lower left you get a description of what it does. I'm going to start by creating a DMM sphere just by clicking. Choose the move tool and move that up. Then create a DMM cylinder. I'm going to create a few more frames here. I'll set this at 150 frames so that we can see this animation a little better. Right now, if I click play, both of these items just fall away. I want the cylinder to remain in place so that the sphere can hit it, shatter, bounce off it, or whatever. To do that, I select the DMM Asset Manager, and with that cylinder selected, I select DMM Passive. By making that a passive object, it won't move when the simulation begins. And click Play, and you can see that that sphere bounces off the cylinder. I'll go back to the beginning of the animation. The behavior of the sphere is largely determined by its material. I'm going to select the sphere. That's the material that's been applied to that sphere by default. So I'm going to go to DMM Material and duplicate that material. Then go to DMM Material and assign existing material. So here's that Material 2 that we created when we duplicated Material 1 and I'll assign that. And then select that material node. And when I do that, in the attribute editor, the properties of that material appear here and I can edit them. So for example, right now again when this hits, it basically bounces off the cylinder. Let me come up a little bit closer on this. So there it is bouncing on that cylinder. And then it bounces off. If I change this toughness attribute, which is at about 200,000 right now, I'm making this sphere much less tough because I'm making its material less tough. Now when it hits it shatters. There are a lot of other attributes here that you can play with. And in addition, you can select the sphere and go to DMM material and assign any one of these existing materials. So for example, here's ceramic. And now by the way I can go back and select that ceramic and see what the attributes are. And I can still play with these. But this is just the default here. You can see that it does shatter. If I set it to hard rubber, it bounces a bit. Try lead. I'll just take this slow. 
So you can see that lead bounces a little bit, but it also deforms quite a bit. Let me click off this. Let's go to Smooth Shade All. And again, I'll move in on this a bit. So you can see that the lead deforms there. It flattens. Go to hard rubber, and it bounces and it deforms a lot less than lead. And if you go in and look at the attributes of these materials, you can see which attributes control these various behaviors. So that's a basic introduction to DMM. And you can use it to obtain a lot of dynamics type effects, such as shatters and deformations, very quickly. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope this has been helpful.